mercifully grant, O God, that we walking the way of the cross may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We walk this week, every day of this holy week. We walk in pain and in hope, in sorrow and in trust, in fear and in faith. We walk through our second holy week in pandemic time, still distanced from one another, still masked, still without singing psalms of lament and songs of praise. Our shouts of Hosanna ring thinner than usual as we shout them alone or in very small groups. We remember crowds that gathered many times in the last week of Jesus' life on earth without ourselves gathering in large crowds. We continue our year-long fast from beloved, meaningful rituals because as the coronavirus continues to spread even now, those rituals would bring us physically too close to one another. Many of us will miss the washing of feet, the extinguishing of candles, the stripping of the altar, sharing the bread and the wine of communion. Even our in-person celebrations of the wonders of resurrection joy will be different yet again this year when Easter morning dawns. The losses that we experience in this time of coronavirus grieve our hearts. In the past year, 2.7 million people have died of this virus worldwide, with over 540,000 in the United States. Millions have lost income, have lost jobs, have lost their health. Businesses have closed, and we have each lost a year of activities that once brought purpose and delight to our lives. Grief has been our daily companion as we have walked a, a year-long Lent-like journey of pandemic. Sorrow has been an unbidden teacher and guide. Sorrow and grief might not be welcome companions for us this Holy Week, but they can and will draw us close to the broken, healing, loving heart of God. Because the heart of Jesus broke with grief as he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. The hearts of his men disciples broke as they ran away in fear when Jesus was arrested. The heart of Peter broke when he denied that he even knew Jesus, not once, not twice, but three times. The hearts of Jesus' mother and his women disciples broke when they saw his agony. The heart of God was pierced when Jesus died. God grieved. God grieves still in the face of the suffering of God's beloved children. Our grief carries us right to the heart of God. And their grief is transformed 
by the power of love. A favorite hymn of Holy Week makes this connection in verse 3 of when I survey the, wonder, the wondrous cross, we sing. See from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingled down. Did e'er such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose so rich a crown? Sorrow and love meet throughout Holy Week. They meet on Palm Sunday when Jesus' followers hail him as king, even as murderous forces plot to kill him. Sorrow and love meet on Monday, Thursday, when Jesus feeds his friends with bread and wine that are his broken body and his poured out blood. Sorrow and love meet on the cross on Good Friday, when sorrow and love flow mingled as blood from gaping wounds. Our grief and our love mingle this week too. They mingle with Jesus' own. Because the sacrifices that we continue to make in this time of coronavirus are acts of love. They are for the sake of others, particularly the most vulnerable among us. They are so little compared to the sacrifice Jesus offered, the gift of his very life. But they are the sacrifices that we have to offer this week. They are among our gifts of love because we protect each other as well as ourselves by continuing to work from home even when we are so ready to return to something more like normal. We, pr we protect each other as well as ourselves by staying distanced and still wearing masks, even when we're sick and tired of them. We protect each other as well as ourselves when we receive the vaccination. In this season, when we finally see, see some light at the end of the tunnel, we protect each other and we protect ourselves by not bolting into that light too quickly, but instead exercising restraint so that we can step into the light together. We do all these things for our communities and our world. And because we do it for others as well as for ourselves, these are all acts of love. They are small and vital and powerful reflections of Jesus' love for us and for all the world. When we do it for love, when we do anything for love, as Jesus did, when sorrow and love meet, when love and grief flow mingled down, there we are, right in the middle of the beating, loving, endlessly transforming heart of God. So be of good courage this Holy Week. Never be afraid, because God who created you is always with you and loves you fiercely. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day, this holy week, and forevermore. Amen.